you know, of course, they're going to talk to teachers. They're going to talk to some of the faculty members. They're going to talk to some of the students. They're going to talk to some of the uh, stakeholders. They're going to talk to some of the parents. You know, those of you that's been through this before, you all know how this goes. Um, it's been a while since we did it on the school level because of the, um, the past couple of accreditations they gave you a choice to do it district or school. So now they put it back into the district and the school. So that's why you really hadn't, hadn't seen people visit the building. So they've changed it a little bit. Okay? Just a few reminders. Uh, let's make sure we continue right on the uh, standards. If y'all remember, that's how we're going to build our vocabulary, and it build, helps build the vocabulary in the language of the standard, which is going to be the language of the milestone. If you don't think this is, uh, so we have been doing it quite a bit. This is very, very important um, as far as I was in Miss uh, Bryson's classroom a couple weeks ago, or last, a couple weeks ago. And the, and the word was petroleum, or, or no, the word was uh, OPEC, something about OPEC. And in the definition, it had the word petroleum. So as she was right tied the standard or whatever, she asked the students, what does petroleum mean? The little girl raised her hand just to see if she wanted to be, and she said, vacillate. <laughs> and I got tickled, because when I was little, I remember that big tall jar of petroleum jelly. It wasn't no lotion. It wasn't no, no uh, what do you call these lotions? Now it was, you grab that, that, my brother got through with his big bar, his big, uh, he got through using the petroleum jelly, then I used it. And I got kind of tickled because it just brought that back. But then I thought, this is why that's important. Because if she's looking at a question, and it says petroleum, and if she's sitting there trying to figure out what does this have to do with Vaseline, <laughs> then we're in trouble. But that's, but that's why that raton is so, so important. I'm sure that some of you all have similar uh, uh, experiences with vocabulary words. I think somebody had one with statues. Yeah, Ms. Ferris had one with statues, and they thought statues was only, if it wasn't in the middle of the uh, they uh, thought the Statue of Liberty was the only statue. In the in in a, in period. <laughs> and y'all know we got George Washington right downtown. They didn't, but that's why that that is so important because if they don't, if we don't increase that vocabulary, then you know we'll we'll have problems. Hawk time. Appreciate the effort on Hawk time. Let's not deviate from that schedule. Because I'm going to tell you, I brag on y'all with Hawk Time uh, and the things that we're doing on Hawk Time. And, and, you know, always, if Dr. Hinton's in the building, I always try to get her to, I think she was walking around Friday, but I always try to get her when she's walking around, go by and look at so and so, whoever's on Hawk Time. And I'm doing that thinking, okay, we're going to do, we're going to be doing Hawk Time when we walk in there. And if we walk in there and they're not doing Hawk Time, and I got a big old egg on it. And I've been bragging about Hawk Time and what we're doing on Hawk Time and how this increase um, in this increase time is really helping our, our students. So let's not deviate from the Hawk Time schedule. Whatever day you have to do Hawk Time, please plan accordingly. Uh, we talked about, um, you know, we do those SLDS clicks. And we've got a, I've got some letters for some of you all um, that came from Richard Woods, who's the Georgia School Superintendent. And they said, I would like to personally recognize you for utilizing the Georgia Statewide Longitudinal, Longitudinal Data System, SLBS, during the 2014-2015 school year. You, moved, you viewed over 500 pages of student data and resources. How's everybody laughing? <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, and you know, within the SLDS 
system over the course of the school year and you frequent use, your frequent use of the system demonstrates your commitment to doing what it takes to fulfill our mission of ensuring that all students achieve. Classroom teachers are asked to do more in the classroom with each passing year and effective educators find ways to utilize the resources that are available to them in a way that will benefit the students they serve. Your effort demonstrates a strong, effective use of SLDS data and the other resources within SLDX. You serve as an example of teach. You serve as an example of a teacher demonstrating strong educational practices, and I applaud your efforts on behalf of your students. It is my hope that you will continue to utilize the system and that you will help us spread the word to your fellow educators about the wealth of valuable student data and resources that are available right at their desktop. Again, thank you for your continued effort and dedication to educating Georgia's future. Richard Woods, Georgia School Superintendent. All right, y'all want to give them a round of applause or what? Sure you please date 
You got a date at the top of your uh, sheet here, so make sure you have your dates. Because what that demonstrates to us is that it's, it's something that maybe you started in, in January or whatever, and then it, it, it kind of shows us that it's been going on, that you've been doing this throughout the year. Any questions on those? All right. <clears throat> Oh, uh, all right. Any, y'all have anything? Okay. Any concern? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Quick question on the notebooks. Do we go back to the beginning of the school year and add artifacts? You can. If you would like to, the question was, do you go back and add your artifacts? If you want to use that stuff to help build your notebook, you can do that. Okay. You can do that. All right. If you ones that don't want to do notebooks and you like to upload your stuff, then that's fine too. Just we ask you that you upload it by standard and put a, a cover sheet with a little brief description of what it is that we're looking at. All right. And again, this is in an effort to get us all on the same sheet of music. We talked about that in PLCs um, to get us all on the same sheet of music because there was a little bit of a minor disconnect this last formative, so hopefully we won't have that disconnect. All right, anything, y'all? Anything else? Any other questions about anything? Okay. Uh, I think with the, uh, we did the milestone for econ, and I do believe that this year they're going to get those, um, well, according to our information meet we had this morning, I think we're going to get those test results. Well, we have to if they're 20% of the grades, but I think they're going to turn around pretty quickly. So as we get milestones, I think we're going to get the results pretty quickly. Uh, I know some of y'all have seen um, the data that's on those uh, student reports. And in our, in our meeting, um, one of the things that's going to be required of us, if, if Students need remediation. We need to identify how we're going to how we're going to remediate that student. If students need acceleration, we need to be able to identify how we're going to accelerate that student. All right, verbal. If you hadn't seen one of those reports, um, get one. I mean, it, it I mean it breaks it down. Also, we'll be getting out. If you hadn't already, you look at the um, the. Uh, End of course, or the milestone handbook. They'll also talk about, if you look at the reports, it'll tell you what domains, um, if you look at the handbook, I'll send you the website. They'll also tell you what domains and what percentages of those domains will be on the test. So it kind of gives us a, a better idea. And that's nothing new. We've done that before, looking at domains and, and concentrating on the ones that uh, that's the higher percentage of the test. So just all that stuff and getting ready so we can be successful on the milestone. Anything else? Yeah, great. Right, just a reminder of the Christmas party Thursday, and if you have not gotten with Melissa West, um, if you still want to go, you need to see her like first thing in the morning. Um, if you're on the committee, check your emails. Um, I emailed something today, and also desserts. Ms. Smith is emailing about desserts. You may go on the second. Okay. And don't forget your toy. A wrap toy for um, toys for tots. If you'd like to, anyone that's given some for toys and tots, um, Doctor Doctor Hink wants us to submit that individual's name, and then she's going to do a fifty dollar uh, gift card for anybody your name goes into a uh, draw for the fifty dollar gift card. That little bean just threw me off. I was getting ready to say so. <laughs> <laughs> that just threw me off. For toys for tots, is there a price range that you're looking at? Uh, actually, it's not. It's you know, it's just you know, it's just for kids in the community, and okay. you know, um, normally it's between one dollar to whatever you want to give. Um, and, and, and it don't have to be a toy. It could be actually, it could be a, if you want to write a check to empty stocking fund. That's what it actually is. Okay. Stocking fund. Uh, we got some more sacks. If y'all haven't got the email, we got some more sacks work to do. Um, 
We send it over to uh, so we got to do. Um, so we'll we'll uh, come up with a plan on that. I think I saw the email that uh, Ms. Robinson sent out. And I'm going to say now, uh, the ones that, that have been doing this sax work, they've been kind of taking it and, and just doing it. And, I, and I've uh, talked to them about uh, just getting these committees and getting these committees to get in here and help. And they've just been kind of saying, you know, we'll do it. You give us some time. We'll do it. But we gave the time. And it went off to the checkers, and it's come back as, as you got some more stuff to do. So now, we, we have, we have, if you're on one of those committees, we, you, you must, we have to pitch in and help us get through this. Um, so we'll be, we'll be re-identifying the committees. Am, am I speaking out of turn? You want to add anything? No, it's okay. It's basically cleanup time is what it is. Okay, it's cleanup. Everything has to be polished. And has to be perfect. Okay. Because so, it went over. The more eyes that are on it at this time, right. it will be more helpful. The better. Because right. you might see something that somebody that has been looking at it over a long period of time has missed. That's right. And so, and proofreading, and proofreading, and proofreading. That's right. It's pretty sad enough. So. All right. So, just make time. They, they, I mean, that committee has just taken it and. And on their standard, the standard chair or your vice chair, they filled in and they just done it. They just, they just done it. Um, they done the lion's share of it. Well, it's going to be checked. Now it's time to come back. Now they're going to count on the rest of their committee to get in there and help. And like I said, the quicker we can get in there and look at it, the faster we can we can put this thing to rest. Because we're under we're under a time restraint. The sax is gonna be here in February. Uh, who's in charge of our website? Is that you? Okay. Can you look at that and update? Um, just see if anything needs to be updated on our website. And also your teacher uh, pages. Y'all just clean those up. Look at look at your teacher pages because even before they get here, they uh, check our website for information. And like we said, there's some on there from last year. We are they coming in there looking at us sideways already. So please let's look at the website, look at your web pages, and let's clean them up. Get some new information, updated information on there. Because like I said, they'll if they haven't started looking at them, they'll start looking at them uh, uh, real shortly. Okay. Any other concerns? Okay, thank you for all you do.